I think the reason we are so in sync is because we both come from the same background of working in the trenches. Yeah. We have spent so much of our time. Well, part of our background is just being engaged in the the community and and being with involved with community groups, those yes, types of yes. things. Actually, doing a lot of just the as I call it, sweat equity of of, right. of our community and, and being involved, being engaged. Yes. Knowing what's going on, yes. and then and then helping with others to do their their missions and stuff as well in our community. Well, and I think we both have the same attitude of just get it done. You just get out there and if there's an issue then you just go out yeah. there and you gather your friends and neighbors right. together. And you, find, you find consensus, right? We use that word a lot, consensus, yes. but it, it seems to serve us well. It it you, you, you get a group of folks together with uh, not always like minds, but then you find uh, common with, with, within our, so our community and then it becomes easy to, to find the right answer. So that's listening right. to our residents, I think that's both that's of our, our it's just, motto from just, the beginning. Just, just listening yes. to folks. And the thing that we're finding is that there's such a sense of community about this whole thing. Where the, and, and as Tim said, members in our community disagree about a lot of things, but when you're focused on something that you want to fix or something that you want to make better, then people seem to be able to put those differences aside and we all work together as community members. And I think we all can agree that the, the direction it's currently going is just not the direction we want. And we deserve better. And we can yeah. do better, you and I. We can yeah. bring better, yeah. bring our talents to the council, uh, bring our ability to, 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 to get things done, coalesce people, and just be friendly doing it, being neighbors doing it. So well, that, that's what I'm looking forward for, to doing. And we're doing it for the right reason. We're doing it because we just want to make our community better. You might be running for higher office, but no. I'm... <laughs> uh, give me, give me the blood right now. I am not. No, I am, I am never running never. for higher office. No. But no. I think it's important that um, you know that we all work together and we do yeah. this not for our own selfish interest. No. We're doing this for our community. Well, if we don't, then what happens to it? Yes. Then what happens? What are the consequences if we don't get involved and we don't take action now? and that we don't make our community a more positive, um, uh, you know, better community for, uh, for, for the longevity of That's it. Right. Quality of life goes away quickly. That's it's hard right. to get it back. That's right. It's exactly. hard to get it back. Yeah, and I think that, um, you know, it's, it's important that we recognize that we're doing this for future generations. Yeah. You know, you have a daughter, I have two daughters and five grandkids, and it's like, this is their hometown too. So you and I are trying to show them how we protect the community that we love and ensure it for generations to come. The one thing I learned over the historical, the other site, when we went to the, the presentation, that there's a lot of legacy there in is. our community. Some kids that were on the junior lifeguards back when it originally started, they've got generations down the line. So that was, that was the, something that was yes. nice to hear. Yes and nice to be preserved and, and from that perspective too. There's, there, people are really embedded into our community and that makes me even work harder More doing this, right? Yeah. Well, I think hopefully you and I will have a legacy that shows how much we cared about Newport Beach yeah. and that we tried to protect and defend it. Right, and then and that's our only motive. We're not here to, uh, you right. know, as they say, win any battles, but we're here to just protect the quality of life. Um, you know, we've got our issues with the airport that you and I agree on that we need to con control Absolutely. the noise and, and pollution and there's, there are creative solutions in which we can do that we're currently working on right now. And overdevelopment and traffic, we have to deal with those, that we're, but we have to deal with it in an open and transparent way and bring our community along so that yeah. they know exactly what we're doing up there and they can weigh in and give us their feedback. Right. We have a voter approved general plan. Just follow the rules. And yes. then if, the, if, if we want to modify that, then get the, get the residents back together to, to develop another plan. Yes. What's the future of, of Newport Beach? Um, Centerized things such as uh, driverless cars, you know, um, you know, economy of scale of things, right. those types of things, right. that we can have a smart city. Let's let's be the leader in a smart city. Absolutely. That's where I want to be. Leaders, leaders, rather than followers of other communities, be leaders in those communities, so we don't have to have traffic and we don't have. And um, 
our friendship has developed out of just <laughs> these shared goals and vision for our city. We never plan to run on a slate. We're not saying if you vote for Tim, you have to vote for me or no. the other way around. But we have a shared purpose, and our purpose we're working toward is to make Newport Beach the best it can be and continue to protect it. So that's it.